Well, Mayor Bob, uh, welcome back to 2019 and uh, your first Mayor's Monday uh, of the year. A uh, very mild, mild winter so far. That weather that you ordered has been <laughs> just absolutely perfect. So we're doing all right so far. We're doing all right. And, you know, and a happy new year, everybody. And hello. Um, yes, I know some the winter sports enthusiasts and the recreation folks, I'm sure they'd like it to be a little bit colder from the city end. I'm saving a lot of money as far as snow removal on that type of thing. So we'll see what happens. Remember, we had three snow emergencies last April, and Mother Nature can be very interesting, to say the least, and the good Lord, but we'll get through it. Yeah, absolutely, and that's uh, exactly what we're here for, is, is to get through it through it all together. And, and obviously, the big news from last week, it came out of the uh, closed session of the City Council meeting on Tuesday that... You're finalizing the deal. Gorman and Company is taking over River Life. It's going to move forward. You're going to start to see dirt move in there later this spring. So, obviously, uh, that's a positive for the city. It's very positive, and it's something that painstakingly that we've taken our time with to make sure things are done correctly. Yes, Gorman and Company, based out of Madison, and they've done projects here in the city of Wausau before. They've done a lot of projects down in Madison and Milwaukee. A very good, solid, reputable company, very much in the know as far as what to do and how to get things done. We needed to make sure that we bided our time, if you want to make sure, as far as finding the right developer to move forward, because it is such an important project. It's the biggest project that's been taken on by the city of Wassa. And unfortunately, as everybody knows, the former developer went belly up. No fault of the city, but it did put us in a bind, obviously. The good news is, and the city council agreed, everybody came forth and, you know, this is who we want, this is what we're going to do, and this is who's going to move us forward. And it, part of that resolution was the liens mm -hmm. against the project, about two and a half million dollars or so. The city is paying that off right now. However, we're, you're going to get paid back for it eventually. We're getting paid back, the majority of it. Uh, also, that was money that had already been set aside for a contingency something, if you want to call it that. Obviously not what we wanted to spend it on, but in order for the project to move forward, this is what the city council and the city staff, this is what we needed to do to get it done. Obviously we're not gonna wait another year uh, or go through another construction season without making sure it was completed. But again, almost painstakingly, is just making sure that everything is done correctly, properly, and legally. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the, throughout this whole process, you know, the, the, there's been some that have said, well, this is, you know, just a waste or whatever. Let's just. Cut You're always going to find those bunch. God bless the them all. And, move on. You know, and they have like that, that right to yeah. think that way, but it's fine. They can think that way. It's negative thinking. It certainly doesn't bode mm -hmm. well for the future of our city. Obviously, for the folks that came forward to bid on it in the first place, they see the merit of the project and everything going on behind it. So it's a good thing for the city. It's another thing that makes us unique. It's another thing that's uh, gonna be good for the future. And if we don't utilize our riverfront, it would be very dumb. Every other city in Wisconsin, every other city in America is doing the same thing. They've rediscovered their waterfront. I took a trip to Green Bay here about two months ago and toured their downtown area, which 10 years ago was blighted, old buildings falling apart. Now granted, they had a whole lot more private interest, they have the Packers, we don't. But it was amazing the transformation that was done, and that's something that we've been trying to do here. And as part of that vision of the city here, you watch what happens in the next eight to 12, 15 years. It's stuff like that that is needed for the future success of our city. I'm convinced of that. Yeah, again, yeah, because I mean, there's a lot of people that maybe said the city's got a reason to cut their losses and, and, and just move on with something like this, but you didn't. So, I mean, what was the driving thinking behind that? I mean, why didn't you just cut your losses? On the One, projects? because we've already invested in it. We've already got it started. It's unfortunate what happened with the former developer, but apparently it happened with several other cities, Green Bay, Fond du Lac, here in Wisconsin. And it needed to be done. One, it had been started, but it was that vision. It was that, that looking at the future of the city, if you will, along the riverfront. We made a commitment to that. That's something that we want to move forward on. I think that's been more than shown. And by and large, most people are glad that it's happening. We are going to have a rededication here in the springtime when things get started and the ground, whenever the snow finally leaves. Could be June, but still, we're going to get it done. But, you know, it was an important project. Overwhelmingly, most people are in favor of it. 
Hence the reason why we keep going forward. And I'm going to add this, too. I discovered, just in my two and a half years of being mayor, and this is not to be disrespectful or anything like that, but whenever, and it's always the same group of people, always a negative bunch. God bless them all. But I love proving them wrong. I actually enjoy that, and we'll see what happens here. The one thing that, uh, one other thing that a lot of people are, are getting behind, uh, everybody loves dogs. Yes. Of course. One thing that people are getting behind. There's is days this, I like dogs better than people, but that's another, <laughs> some people anyway. I, 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 I we think clarify. We're, we're all that way sometimes, but uh, a lot of people getting excited about the possibility of this dog park as well, and, and some things are in place and, and moving on there that There might now. even be more, hopefully yeah. one day. Yes, uh, the Parks and Recs Committee, this is something that we brought forward. It's one of those quality of life amenities that people like, and everybody, most everybody loves dogs. There's an old saying, never trust a man that a dog doesn't like. We'll go that way. But, and I've got dogs of my own, and I love them. But the dog park is something that a lot of residents have wanted. The problem that we've had here in the city of Wausau is we're kind of landlocked in a lot of areas. And we want to make it where it's easy and accessible, enough parking for folks. So we got something close to downtown, down on 4th Street. Uh, behind down the hill the old behind the old Rosemary Ford that used to be there years ago and it's just one of those things that folks want and we're gonna see it through and I'm trying to make it where there's more private investment something like that though I think we might even be off to a good start there's gonna be some city money in it of course and depending on how everything works out we're already kind of thinking about a second dog park that's always going to take some time. we got to get the first one done first. But dog parks, in addition to bike paths, walking paths, trails, uh, the different amenities and everything that we have going down on the riverfront, these are the things that people ask for of all different ages. So it's something that everybody can benefit from too. And you mentioned the possibility of another dog park. I mean, there's been a lot of, a lot of places that have been thrown out there, possibly Brockmire Park, especially with the amenities that are gonna be there already. But you spoke about the riverfront earlier. There's also a riverfront location too, that's kind of, the, the idea has been kicked around at least as well. That would be another thing along the river. It's, it's a little early right now. For one, let us get the one down on 4th Street taken care of and get started and get completed, which should be done in 2020 at the latest, if everything goes right. Um, we'll see what happens. These other areas, it's just being kicked about right now. Uh, it's something else I'd like to get done too. We've done a lot here in the last couple of years, and we're gonna keep that going. So uh, in, in the again, you said the private sector funding though is going to be what drives these projects, correct? That's what I would like to see happen, you know, uh, it could be anything from economic development to whatever. Everything can't always be on the city, especially when individuals or whoever wants something. There's got to be a joint partnership or actually more, if you will, as far as private investment. The good news is, and here's another thing, we had another great year as far as uh, uh, building permits and starts and revenue generated and into, invested into the city of Wausau. You know, almost a hundred million dollars. Not quite like last year at 137 million for 2017, but nevertheless, 2018 was another good year, which I think further proves that businesses want to come here, do business here, live here, play here, work here, and we're going to strongly encourage that whenever we can. It's been a very good couple of years. Yeah, and you keep getting the acclimates for that as well. You got another, uh, the city found out another new one here late last week. A complete surprise and a was, nice one too. Uh, for job growth. And this is from as, the federal government too. As far as job growth goes, number one in the state of Wisconsin for new job creation, creation. and things like that. So that's a sign that Wausau is moving in the right direction. Well, you know, we've got those different factors, you know, healthcare, manufacturing. It's just another, and I say this humbly and respectfully, it's just another kudos, but I think it also shows that WASA is really moving to the forefront. Yes, I've been told that sometimes we're a little too aggressive as far as some of the things that we do when we try, but I'm a firm believer if we don't try doing things, we'll never be recognized like that. And this is just another accolade that we've gotten here. We've gotten a bunch of them in 2018 and in 17. And honestly, folks, we don't go looking for it. They come to us, be it the national publications or the websites that generate and promote these things. This one's from the federal government. It was a nice little surprise. But I think, very respectfully, 
it's just another good thing that WAS is being recognized for a great place. And, and of course, something coming from the federal government, from a, a, a portion of it that obviously is not shut down, so something like that <laughs> as well, <laughs> also a, a, a good sign from the city. Sure. That you're able to get that uh, get that award, and, and, and but in all seriousness, as you said, uh, those different sectors, manufacturing, healthcare, uh, things like that. If you have a diverse job market like that, you're going to be pulling a lot of good people into right. the city. Plus, you're also protecting yourself as well. You're not putting all your eggs in one basket that can maybe crash in a few years. Exactly, and again, it's that future development and growth. Very honestly, the city has been very, very proactive. And as I said before, even maybe a little aggressive as far as promotion, working with other businesses to get that marketing research and everything out there for folks to see. This was a nice little surprise, but I also think it proves we're going in the right direction. Absolutely. And one, one more thing before we let you go here that's going in the right direction, we'd like to thank anyway. You are a notorious Green Bay Packers fan. We found yes. out this week, uh, last please. week. Please, yes. Yes, please. We'll, we'll, we'll prove it right there with the... And all the other Wasa football teams, too. With all the teams, rest of the too. football teams, yes. Right there it says it, friends, family, food, and football. And, and maybe in that order, maybe not, I don't know. But uh, we, we found out... We'll, we'll have to find out. I don't know. <laughs> Judge yourself. So. Matt LaFleur, the new head coach of the Green Bay Packers. You're a Packers fan. What do you think? <laughs> Well, it's like my wife said, we were watching, well, he's awfully young. And I know he did great work both in Atlanta and in Los Angeles. And I'm curious as far as what's going to happen with the Super Bowl because, you know, some of the teams I was picking on earlier in the season, obviously always the Packers. Well, we know how that ended. But always an optimist. There's always next year. But in regards for this fella, like everything else, he's got to be given a chance. Um, I hope that everything can work out well between – the team and him and the new coaching staff, I think it might be time. And, you know, let's not expect too much this first season, if you will, because it's an adjustment for everybody. But, yeah, I'm glad, uh, respectfully, towards Mike McCarthy. When he first started, nobody had heard of him either. I know I've heard that before from some folks. So I like it in the sense, obviously, we're, we're Packer fans, you know, and I never would have thought the Bears would have won the Central Division this year, but that's okay. We'll see what happens. Um, I wish him and the, and the organization very well. All right. Well, we will keep that prediction or non-prediction, I guess, in the record. And in a couple of years, we'll look back at it and see how right we all were. With exactly. Them. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we always appreciate the time, Mayor Milky. Uh, again, thank you thank for you giving for your service. Me. All the best, and we'll and do it again you as well. Next month. Happy New Year! Two thousand nineteen is going to be a great year, everybody. Take care. God bless, Wasa.